was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out? I don't speak your fucking language? Seu gringo de merda, cala a boca, seu gringo! That's right, I may be a moron, but here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I seem. It was time to get out of there. Seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub at the stadium, the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. There was a danger of this starting to get too real. The cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. The place was swarming with cops, but they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcelo and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. These raids, Renathugs and body armor sending a message to the pool that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. It was fair game, as I was about to find out.
55. I'd seen that number before. Were these the same bloodthirsty motherfuckers that showed up after the shootout at the party? The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. I guess sobriety is relative. wasn't such a good spot to enjoy the view. Still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Você tá me 
secando, pô! Alguma coisa, seu filho da puta! Vou te chefe, seu filho da puta! Cadê o secando? Mano, eu não tenho secado, pô! Eu tenho uma casa, mano! Eu tenho família, eu tô embaixo! Põe um saco na cabeça desse merda! Não, não, não! Se você não começar a falar agora, seu merda, eu vou matar você! Toda aquela... Ele me o alvo! Fogo agora! Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. I knew this was all my fault, and there was only one way I dealt with guilt. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. Traz essa puta aí, ó. Dá porrada nesse viado aí. Isso aqui é seu namoradinho, é? Quem que é esse viado? Quebra o dente dele pra ele parar de falar essa porra. Não posso esperar pra sair daqui. Olha de merda. Nunca aprende a lição. Traficantes, Traficantes e viciados, né? Espera o quê?
seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcelo and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never receive. Então tá tudo sob controle, tá tudo bem. Olha lá. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a pinata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcelo. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Não faz isso não, viu? Por favor, não faça isso não. Vamos acabar com essa porra. Cala a boca, sua puta. Vem pra cá. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. Caralho, what the vamos, hell porra. are they about to do to him? Queima, viado! Marcelo! Jesus. Filho da puta! Você tá fudido, gringo! You bastard! Giovanna! We're gonna be okay. No, 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 you don't want to do that. Come on. Go, 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 go. Why did they do that to Marcelo? It's a legendary gang way of killing people. No ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Coisa morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. 
and right now all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever, the constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find